And that gate swings into the stretch. Here they come. They're off and trotting in the excitable Akeri Diaz. Quick out down the center there for Dunn as he wants to rattle. Coming out with him at the inside is Logan Park. Outside trots up Juju B into third now and speed outside from back of the neck into fourth. Fifth away at the fence left out Lindy the Great. Sixth outside of him is Fashion Frenzy in a wall of trotters early. Then it's back to Forbidden Trade as he snuck through to grab a good spot there. Seventh going into that turn and he's committed off the rail already. Further back at the inside to Amigo Volo. Then it's Academic. Further back we go at the inside to find Rattle My Cage and Ambassador Hanover sees them all back in 11th. The opening quarter is 27 and 1, and as they move into the back stretch, they do so chasing 6 to 5 Favier Acury D on top a length and a half on Juju B, who trots a pocket. Third inside to Logan Park, back of the neck is fourth. Fifth inside to Lindy the Great. Overland six now as Fashion Frenzy raided along on his cover forbidden trade, scooting up the rail Amigo Volo, then to the outside it's Academic, scooting through at the inside Rattle My Cage, and trailing is still Ambassador. Ambassador Hanover. Halftime is 55 and 2, and they wheel into that final turn. On top a length and a half, this is Acury D. Juju B trots along second, first over, back in the neck is third. Logan Park is fourth. Fashion Frenzy out the route fifth. Sixth in the trail is Lindy the Great. Then Forbidden Trade. Amigo Volo, a starting ex academic, then inside Rattle My Cage, and Ambassador Hanover trailing a two length lead for Acury D. As Dunn goes for it all right now, and Acury D spins out to a three length lead. Three quarters of a mile trotted in 123 and coming into the stretch it's all Acury D widening out the lead to four on Juju B who's back in second. Logan Park in back of the neck escaping late Amigo Volo splitting through his rattle my cage in deep stretch. Still Acury D clear by three and it's done with another. This time Acury D to win. Juju B was off stride second that'll get the inquiry up the mile 151 equaling the stakes record. Dunn, Swanstead, more success. This time the open trot defending champion Ikari D comes back and it is a stakes equaling performance of 151. Down the road, sure, he might have looked a little excitable. He was in Yonkers as well, but, uh, you know, Dunn. You can now make that three breeders' crowns on the night for driver Dexter Dunn, Acury D, winning the open trot. This was a pretty nice drive to pick up, Dex, and certainly you took full advantage of it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, um, it's been impressive uh, since coming to the States and, and this year as well. So, uh, even yeah, when they asked me last week to drive him, I was uh, more than happy to jump on him. So, yeah, he, he led the way around there and he put in a good mile. Yeah, mentioned uh, again, uh, picking up a big drive here for Swanstead. After early in the year, we saw what looked like another freak of a trotter in Alaraja 1. When he went down, that had to be a little disappointing, but this is probably a, a nice little redemption for yourself. Yeah, I mean, I felt like that horse was just, just starting to hit his gears over here too. You know, we'd been driving him pretty pretty and just, he was, you know, his last quarters have been sensational. So when he went down, it was a bit of a shame, but that's racing. And um, yeah, like I said, it's a good one to pick up tonight. Let's talk about tonight's mile, though, up there on the lead. You get that separation there near three quarters. It seems to be the move right now for everybody. Yeah, you know, like he was a little aggressive you know, out of the gate going to the first quarter, Stu, and then uh, after that he relaxed pretty good. He was coming in the last turn. He had both ears fully pricked and uh, still felt like he had some trots. So we give him a growl and away he went. Well, you're having great success here in the Breeders' Crown, as you have since you came to North America. One race to go. Best of luck with Bulldog Hanover. Yeah, looking forward to it. Thank you. All right, we'll let Dex get back to the paddock. A. Curie D has won the Breeders' Crown, now a back-to-back -back champion.